So let us solve these problems about welded connections. Determine the following for a 9.525 millimeter LA weld of E70XX. Which of the following most nearly gives the nominal strength of the weld per unit length? So first, let us discuss the cross-section of the weld. So for a weld, particularly in this figure, this is the weld. So W, w indicates the leg size of the weld. So as you can see, the standard fillet weld is an isosceles right triangle. So if we're going to compute for this segment, that is simply W cosine 45 degrees or using this angle because since this is an isosceles triangle, this is also 45 degrees. So we can say that this angle is also 45 degrees. So it's either sine or cosine, so we will obtain the same. And then it is simplified to 0 0.707. So we are computing for the throat thickness because the failure plane will occur in this throat. At the event of the failure, the weld will, will be sheared on this plane. So as you can see, this is the throat thickness that we have computed before. And then multiplied by L, that is the area wherein the failure will occur. So if we're going to compute the nominal strength of the weld that is r sub n equals fnw times a sub w e the standard assumption for direct shear is that the weld will be loaded along its axis so meaning f sub n w is simply equal to 0.6 FEXX. So now we can compute R sub N. F sub N W is 0.6. F sub EXX is given as 483. And then A sub W E is the area of the weld. That's what we have seen in this shaded region. This is the this is the area being symbolized by A sub W E. So that is simply the effective throat thickness, which is this one, times the length L. So for this particular problem, the throat thickness is 0 0.707. The given value of W is 9.525. And then we are asked to solve for the strength per unit length. So meaning we are considering a one millimeter length of the weld. So therefore, R sub N equals 1951.563915 Newton. And then we indicate that this is per unit length. So that is Newton per millimeter. So this is now the strength of the weld per unit length. And the answer is letter D. Problem 2, which of the following most nearly gives the allowable strength of the weld per unit length? So we already have the nominal strength. So the allowable strength is the strength considering allowable stress design. So we can solve that by dividing the Rn by the factor of safety. So the factor of safety for welds is 2. So therefore, we have... 1951.563915 divided by 2. And that is 975.7819575 Newton per millimeter. And the answer is letter D. Problem 3, which of the following most nearly gives the design strength of the weld per unit length? So for the design strength, it means that we will use the code LRFD. 
So that is phi Rn. And the resistance factor phi for welds is simply 0 0.75. So we multiply this by the nominal strength. Therefore, we have 1463.67. And that is letter 